kind of been weirdly excited about having the chance to talk to you because I will tell you this, as we've gotten ready for the festival and we've been showing trailers and getting people excited about the whole process, your film's trailer, the energy and the spirit behind it has been infectious. Oh, thank you. So I want to start off literally with that, that sure. whole like, could you talk about just the vibe of the story and how meaningful it was? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so the vibe of, if you watch the trailer, you watch the movie, um, Why We Walk is all about getting uh, urban communities to get interested and exposed to the great outdoors. So the whole vibe is humanity first. It's all about adventure. It's all about fun, brotherhood, bringing people together um, through the medium of walking. And so, you know, uh, I think there's a lot of, there's a crisis of meaning in our society right now. There's a lot of division, but uh, walking for us is a conduit for bringing people together of all different races, uh, ethnicities, religions. Um, so I think the vibe is, is, is positive. It's authentic, it's human, it's um, meaningful as well, so. You know, and it's, it's it's so interesting to me to kind of think through that process because again, not only am I thinking about it as you know an artistic director and a programmer here, but I've been going to festivals for 20 plus years and it always amazes me that sometimes when I'm going as a critic, you know, you, you're blocking out your schedule, you're checking out what you think you want to see, and you notice trends that kind of emerge out of that. And I'm seeing the same thing now on this end of things, because this year for us as a festival, we have a number of films. You know, we've already talked to, to Jess about, you know, the race against race. We have another film here at the festival this year too that also looks at sort of that idea of people getting out and walking and walking for causes. And that was totally unintended on our part, but it says something that, that there's, there's something going on in, in, I don't know if it's in the creative world or just society as a whole, that that is something that people are are concerned about. So what do you think that might, is, is bringing that out of you? I think that synchronicity, I think that's a theme in our movie is um, synchronicity. I think it's amazing how things can line up in life. And for me, um, maybe it's just really good curation on your guys' end, or it's good luck or dumb luck. But no, I think it's just, um, the cycle of what we're going through right now in the world, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of strife, there's a lot of division, as I mentioned, and I think um, from that r rises these archetypal stories, and the hero emerges, and um, we need those archetypes, and we need those people to, to tell these stories, to uplift us, and to turn us into the next chapter of whatever life is gonna bring us. So, um, there's also a lot of synchronicity in our story in, in that well, I, I, I'm a native to Ohio, but not Cincinnati. I went to Ohio University, I'm from Cleveland. I moved here in 2016, right out of film school and had no job. So I started driving as, I was a Lyft driver. And um, in the back of my car, I met Vanny, who's one of the urban hikers. He's one of the main characters in our story. And we just hit it off and had a really good conversation. And he told me about this hiking group that he had just started called the Urban Hikers. And from there, I just started following them. And that was the beginning of making this documentary over five years ago. It was just this kind of synchronicity or this dumb luck. So um, that's a good question. And it's kind of pertinent to our story as well. Right. So and again, I'm glad you brought this up because we we briefly talked about this when we first met not too long ago, but just the idea that, again, you, you went to OU. Um, I'm curious, what did you study? So I originally studied photojournalism. I grew up a huge fan of National Geographic and storytelling in general, and, and always wanted to, I always wanted a job that I liked, and I always loved uh, visual arts and storytelling and, and photography, taking pictures of my friends who were skateboarding or my friends playing punk rock shows. So I was always documenting uh, just the world around me. And then I realized I have a love for music and audio. I, and then I kind of evolved from 
photojournalism into film studies and then documentary. And then I devoted my career and my life to documentary filmmaking. So that's, that's, what, that's what I studied at, at OU. All right. So what was it like? And again, I'm asking these questions, and it's, this is actually kind of personal, because I, I think I mentioned to my daughter is, is going to be a senior this year at OU. Um, and I have been very impressed with her process um, going you know, with her studies there. What was, what was it like for you in your program, kind of meeting people, finding collaborators um, that might have inspired you to, be, to, to, to get to the point that you're at right now? At, at, in college, precisely? Yeah. I think I learned more the first year, like after I graduated, just freelancing in Cincinnati than I did in four years of college. Really? Yeah. But I do think it was invaluable experience to go to college to meet those lifelong friends. And you know, film studies was great. I watched a lot of movies. And I think I learned a lot. But I don't think uh, you can beat the experience of like going out and actually doing it and you know, trying to fend for yourself. So um, Athens, if, if you know, is a beautiful place. It's a magical place. And it, it has inspired me just as an artist, and I look back on it fondly, but I would say just getting out there and doing the real thing, especially with, with Why We Walk. It's an independent film. We fundraised it ourselves. It's like, I think that's really what can, um, you know, leapfrog somebody to the next step. But I do find value in, you know, going to college and meeting the right people and taking the classes is, is uh, valuable as well. So. <clears throat> sort of in those classes or even outside of them, you've heard me you know, go through these other interviews and I'm always curious about um, you know, the, either the films you watched in film school or you know, what I want to take it maybe even back further than that. Like what are some of, those, some of those titles maybe before college that kind of led you to think, oh, I might want to do this? Yeah, I think I was really inspired by uh, Vice and like their documentary work when they were cool back in the day. <laughs> that was really inspiring to me where like, you know, documentaries of these guys that would just go and um, travel like into North Korea or like go on these wild road trips. I always loved kind of gritty stories of adventure. Uh, but I think my, the main title, the main documentary that really got me psyched on documentary filmmaking was uh, this film in 2008 called Man on Wire, which is uh, Philippe Petit is this French eccentric guy who um, basically put a tightrope across the Twin Towers and walked across them illegally. And um, I was really inspired by the storytelling devices. They did recreations and, and animation. And if you guys watch Why We Walk, you'll see a lot of <laughs> animation. So um, that, that, that's my go-to. That's, that's amazing, because as not in, in sort of my other life outside of programming and even been a film critic, I also go out to community centers, work with kids, I use film as text a lot. And I remember one summer in particular showing that film to a group of kids, teenagers who on their own would never have gone to see that film, wouldn't have cared about it, anything like that. But we watched that film and there was this hush in the room. You know, you could tell every single eye, every, every single student, they were like so into it. And as soon as it was over, you know, I was asking some of them like, hey, what do you think? And I had this one kid who raised his hand and he was like, man, that dude was gangster. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I knew exactly what he meant, but I was right. like, hey, you gotta, you gotta tell me more. Yeah, and yeah. it was amazing because he was like, it yeah, pretty like, that guy did something that was incredibly illegal, yeah. crazy. Yeah. And it was just like, he was just like, I'm doing it. Yeah, totally illogical. Yeah. Just, just yeah, that drive for <laughs> pushing boundaries, I suppose. Yeah. And that's, again, obviously, I'm not sure that it inspired that kid to become a filmmaker or a wire walk or anything else. But it was just, that's the power of film. Yes. Because that kid saw that and was like, again, he has no connection to this French guy at all. But all of a sudden, there was that one element where he's like, yeah, Either, either I'm, I'm a little bit of that too, or I, I see that guy and I'm like, yeah, I want to be a little like him. 
And film has the power to do that. Oh yeah, it's yeah. a great story. Yeah. That's that's amazing, and I I love the fact that that was one of one of your films. Most that, definitely. That's that's so that's so jazzy and fun. So, um, I I don't even know where to go from that. That was probably we should probably that should probably be a mic drop right there. That was a, that was an amazing moment. Um, I am looking forward to having the chance to catch up with you more. I hope again everyone else remembers that. Why We Walk will screen tomorrow at 6 p.m. at the Woodward. Please, please, please come check that film out. You will probably see Eric floating around throughout the festival of the day. Um, I'm just gonna like put you all out there in the street right now. Like if you see Eric, feel free to walk up to him, say hello, ask him questions. There, you might have questions that I didn't get to ask here. Um, all of the filmmakers, same kind of way. I, I really, like I said, I said from the start, I want to make sure that people on both sides, I want filmmakers to feel comfortable kind of meeting people in the community, getting to know Cincinnati a little better. I want the, the audience and the community here to feel like you had the chance to get to know these filmmakers as well. So I want to thank you all for coming out this morning for our inaugural kickoff of Breakfast with TT. I will be back here tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. with a brand new group of filmmakers who will be chopping up their films, having a great time, having some great food. If you haven't eaten yet, go grab something now. Just know that I'll be right behind you in line, so don't say any bad things about me. Um, I, but on that note, I hope you are enjoying this, and I hope you continue to enjoy the rest of the, the, rest of the festival. So please, 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 thank you, and have a great time at the movies.